Hi everyone, welcome to my first video here on YouTube. The first thing I'll be doing is a series of back to school videos, even though it's not really back to school time anywhere right now. But when it is, I hope you find these videos really useful. So the first thing I'll be talking about is stationery. And I think that good stationery is really important for students. There's always that kid in every class who asks to borrow a pencil, and that kid's the usually one who has bad grades. A good stationery produces better work and allows you to be much more organised. So before you go shopping to buy all your stationery, I recommend producing a list of items you need to buy. I've just categorised this into a few categories. And um, when you're making the list, go through all the stationery you have left over from last year and around the home. There's a lot of items you can reuse every year, such as scissors, and pens if they have enough ink left. This will save obviously money. Which brings me to my next topic, quality versus price. You want good quality stationery so it will last you throughout the whole year, but it can be very expensive. This is why I recommend searching in stores such as Dollar Tree in the United States or Reject Shop in Australia. You can look for their brand name products that they sometimes carry every month or so, they kind of change their products, so check there regularly. And items such as rulers and scissors, they're usually pretty good quality, so you look out for those products. A few months ago I got these brand name post-it notes for only $2, when they're really ex quite expensive here. And just yesterday, um, I bought these felt line pens, they're brand name, for only $2 because their labels were on backwards. Now in Officeworks, a store here, they're $8. That's like a $6 saving. My next topic I want to talk about is binders. Now some people like them, I personally do, and others hate them because they just can't seem to get there to stay organised. So um, if you do keep a binder, make sure you have dividers to divide each topic. And in your binder, keep plastic sleeves like these or page protectors to prevent your pages from getting ripped and save them for years to come and so make sure you get good quality ones I personally love these ones I buy them in a box of 100 so they're much cheaper it's about $10 but I can reuse them if I want to um, Sometimes binders can be really heavy to take to school if you're using like three a day. So if I don't need a lot of stuff for a certain class, for example if I'm doing a lab for one of my science classes, I'll just put all the any paper I need or notes inside one of a folder like this. That way I don't have to take the whole binder. Makes my bag a lot lighter. Now, if you have any classes where you don't really get a lot of handouts or anything, you can buy a display folder like these which have heaps of page protectors. Now usually they only have about 20 sleeves in them, so you might need to get one for each semester of the class, but do not get one if your class has a lot of handouts. And back on the topic of binders, Make sure to get a good one because the last thing you want is one of them breaking and your paper going everywhere. It's happened to me before and it's not fun. So if you're in the United States, I recommend buying the Better Binder from Staples. I've heard a lot of great things about them. I personally haven't had one because I don't live there, but um, they sound really great. Now to save money, buy things in bulk, especially things like pens. Buy like a 24 pack if possible because it will save you a fair amount and if you need a new pen you don't have to run all the way to the store, you have some at home. So that's all for now, thanks for watching my first video, please like, subscribe and comment.